Lisa Chesters is the ALP Federal Member for Bendigo. Good morning to you. Good morning, Fiona. You say this budget will hit central Victoria hard, but isn't it necessary to put the federal budget on a clear track to a surplus? Uh, Not when it is causing so much pain to people in our community. I'm I'm not surprised that the Liberal Party aren't willing to jump on and defend this budget. It's a shocker. It's more taxes, more cuts and more broken promises uh, to the people in our community. But it does put us in line for a surplus in the next four to five years. And don't we have to do some of that heavy lifting in order to get the budget back on track? It's about twisted priorities in this budget. The people who are hardest hit are people who are most in need. Uh, Young people, um, whether they go to university and now have to pay exorbitant fees because universities get to set their own fees, whether they be trying to work and they're kicked on and kicked off Newstart, or our older people who require require greater health care because they're ageing and have to pay more through going to the doctors, uh, will get less in their pensions. Uh, this budget targets the people in our community surviving on the smallest of incomes. And the more you earn, the better you are in this budget. But everyone's doing some heavy lifting, aren't they? What about the deficit tax on the wealthy? And what's interesting about that is it's only a small amount and it's a levy and if um, and it will be phased out and it's actually less. It only works out to be about $15 a week. Meanwhile, the young person who's studying or who's just been made redundant and has to look for work, um, they will lose about $240 a week by being changed from being on New Start um, to uh, youth allowance. So there's a lot of devil in the detail in this budget. Uh, another area that's hard hit is people, um, families, whether they be single or, or dual families, on a small income, about $34,000 a year. Changes to the tax family benefit mean that they will be about $3,000 a year worse off. So that's a 10% hit in their income. And that's not occurring across the board. It's only occurring to those families surviving on minimum wages and minimum payments. So you're saying that even though the wealthy will pay some, that it's disproportionate to the effect it's going to have on lower income earners? Absolutely. And in our community, that is the smallest proportion. About 30% of the people in the Bendigo electorate are surviving on less than $32,000 a year in their household budget. And they're the ones that have been hardest hit, whether it be through a reduction in their tax family benefit, be through a new GP tax, be through increase every time they fill their car up, there's a new petrol tax. Like, this is a Prime Minister who said there'd be no new taxes. Now, every time every one of us in regional Victoria fills up our car, we have to pay more money to the government. But the government is saying that, sure, they might be putting on the fuel excise or, or tax, there is the deficit levy, but on the whole, taxes are lower under the coalition than they were under Labor. And that's just a lot of spin. Um, I'm and from the government, and they will be a government that will do one thing and say another, and we've seen that by the broken promises from this government. I can't see any evidence um, in what I've looked through today that they, um, that they are, there are less taxes under this government. Uh, the taxes that they're imposing on the people in our community um, will see our people worse off. Uh, it's just a mean budget. It's a shocker. And I can understand why the Liberals are hiding um, in our region and can't defend this indefensible budget. Which parts of the budget are the Labor Party going to oppose? Um, we've already said straight off the bat that we will oppose the increase to the pension age and we will completely oppose the changes to the indexation. Uh, what the government announced last night, Joe Hockey, is he's actually going to go back to a pre-1960s uh, model of increasing the pension. It will increase by the lowest CPI level. Uh, so that, for our pensioners, is incredibly bad news. Um, it means... If this was introduced uh, last year, their pension would only increase by about 1%, and that just doesn't keep up with the cost of living. So Labor said we will not support that. Labor's also said we will not support uh, the GP tax, and we will not support uh, the new petrol tax. Those are measures that hurt families and hurt people in our community. 
what if this ends up being a, a bit of a stalemate? Can, can you see a double dissolution? Uh, well, that's up to Tony Abbott and whether he will blink or not, um, or whether well, he's going to. The government his... says it's it's up to Greens and Labor to support the budget. Yes, and look, in the coming weeks, I'm sure we'll see lots of um, theatre and banter um, play out in Parliament and in the Senate. Uh, I think what's really important now is anybody who believes that they're affected by this budget, they need to make sure that their voice is heard and that their story is told. Because clearly the Liberals and the Liberal government don't understand how these measures will affect people in our community. It's going to be an interesting sell for the government um, because of the impact it's going to have on many Australians. What do you think of their argument that this is the end of the era of entitlement? It actually shows how disconnected they are from people in um, on the ground trying to survive on very tight budgets. Uh, this government is also incredibly arrogant. Like last night in Parliament House... Um, Journalists were actually talking about how Joe Hockey uh, was singing and dancing to the song This Is The Best Day Of My Life before presenting the budget. He's been caught smoking cigars. Like They are so out of touch with the rest of us. Uh, to be singing This Is The Best Day Of My Life when you deliver a budget which radically cuts um, income to our lowest people, which is potentially the worst day of their life, just shows how out of touch they are. Thanks for joining us this morning.